What's up everybody, Deathmeal here. And today I'm going to show you a strategy on how to beat Lady Constock. Since I'm going for the achievement Scavenger Hunt, this makes this match a lot harder. If you don't know what this achievement is, this forbids you from buying anything at the dollar bill machine. So make sure you search every body in the garden to get as much ammo as possible before you walk into the graveyard. You can also get a grenade launcher at the very beginning of this chapter. It's in the top left near the sky lifts. It's in the area where you had to fight the handyman. So make sure you pick it up. I tried beating her without the leveled up return to sender and she kicked my ass. So make sure you have that leveled up to at least two. If you can't afford it and you're stuck, check this video out. This video will show you how to get money from Elizabeth anytime you want. You'll also need the gear sheltered life. You most likely have this gear on you already. So make sure you put it on before the fight begins. What this does is put an ice shield over your health bar, indicating that you're invulnerable to any attacks coming your way. This will help out a lot because the siren brings in the undead to try and take you out. This will also give you a good opportunity to run directly at her and shoot whatever weapon you got right at her face. And trust me, you'll need every bullet for this match. Now it's time to stockpile weapons. If anybody's ever played Halo before, you guys already know the weapon juggle. This is no different. All you have to do is pick up the weapon and move forward a little bit, and the weapon will launch a little bit forward. You can keep doing this until you get under the bridge. Under the bridge is going to be your safe house. This is where you're going to have all your weapons, and it also has some health packs there. So it's a great spot to take down Lady Constock, as you'll see later on. Now let's take stock on our weapons. You're going to need the crank gun, the hand cannon, the shotgun, the machine gun, and the burst gun under the bridge. When you got all the weapons under the bridge, it's now time to know where all the salts are at. Because you're going to need them for return to sender. This is what it looks like when you're invulnerable to attacks. This location has some submachine guns and one bottle of salt. You don't have to use these weapons unless you're desperate, so make sure you keep them there. There's also a hail fire here too. Now this crypt is another safe place to be. If there's a lot of enemies chasing you, this is a great place to come back and try and get infinite health. When I say infinite health, I mean when the ice shield is up. The ice shield only becomes active when your red health bar goes down a little bit. So be sure to remember that so you don't waste any health packs. Behind the main crypt is a good place to stop and get your bearings before running out there again. Just in case you didn't see this salt in the beginning of the video, I just wanted to give you guys another look at where it's at. Now when it comes to fighting Lady Constock, as you can see there's a lot of preparation for it. So make sure you do all this before you fight her. Now I just want to show you one more thing about the dead bodies. Sometimes the corpses will have food on them. Make sure you don't grab these things unless it's necessary. So when you're in a fight with Lady Constock, you can use it to get the ice bar. This will definitely get you out of a lot of jams. So be sure to go around and check all the corpses to see if they got any food on them. All right, it's time to rock and roll. Let's take this bitch down. Why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of jail. Now, when you get out of the crypt, make sure you go to the right next to the tombstone. This will give you cover from the zombies. Lady Constock will chase you. Now, just light her up with your chain gun. Be sure to get your shots right. Don't just shoot at her because she's next to you. Take your time, line up your shot, and take her down. This will make the fight a lot easier. Be sure to use cover and not return to sender, because there's not a lot of salt around. But if you get surrounded, make sure you use return to sender and not try and run away from her. Make sure that Lady Constock's your primary target. Try to ignore the zombies as much as you can. But if they're in front of you and they're in your way, take them down.
Be sure not to forget to open up the tear that has the health packs on. You don't want to run back and realize that the tear's not open when you need a health pack. When the chain gun has no ammo, run back and grab one of the weapons that you've leveled up. For me, I didn't really level up any of them, so I grabbed the hand cannon. The hand cannon has massive damage and it'll take down a boss pretty quick. If you're in the middle and she runs away from you, make sure you run back to the safe area under the bridge. You don't want to be stuck in the middle running out of salt. Now, if she hasn't came after you yet and her minions start showing up, just start lighting them up and take out anybody that's around you. Now, when she starts raising the other dead crop in the corner, it's time to bring out the big guns. Run over to her and try and take as many shots as you can with the RPG. Just be wary of how much salt you have doing this. This time around, she didn't stay in the same place. That's okay, just grab the salt and try it again. Just remember, if you ever get in trouble, always run back to your safe area and pick up a health pack. This will give you the ice bar so you can run out and go crazy. That's all I have. Now repeat getting the ice bar a couple times. Now it's time to pick up the last salt. <laughs> this is where it gets tricky. Run back to the other safe area and wait for the zombies to show up. Any one of the zombies give you a threat, take them down. All you're doing is waiting for Lady Comstock to get near you. When you hear her, grab a health pack and run after her. Remember, if your health bar is full, the ice bar will not be activated. So you have to hurt yourself. Run out a little bit and get the zombies to attack you. Right when they damage the red bar, run back and get the ice bar. And then go after Lady Comstock. If she ever gets close to you and you're near a health pack, don't panic. Just sit there and wait until she attacks you and brings down your red bar. When she does, just pick up a health pack and you'll have the ice bar activated. When they overrun you, run back to your other safe area and pick up some weapons. I choose the shotgun because it can take down the zombies a lot quicker and it pushes them back when they get shot. When you have the shotgun, make sure you reload as much as you can. Whenever you get the ice bar, make sure Lady Constock is your primary target. Now when you see her fly away, that means the battle's almost done. You'll know when you see a rocket launcher guy be resurrected. It's now time to start taking out the zombies. Just be careful of the rocket launcher guy. Now run and take cover in the other safe area until you hear Lady Constock scream. That will indicate that the battle is over. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It takes a very long time to make these videos, and if you guys like them, I'll keep on doing it. I'll see you guys next time. But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. 
The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. 